In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps you need to take to integrate Watcher AU into Logic Pro to allow you to use Watcher to control all of Logic synths and that way to create professional quality mixes using all the facilities that Logic provides. The concept here is that Watcher is behaving like a multi-channel controller keyboard. So to make that work, we need to set up the channel strips to listen to the individual MIDI channels coming out of Watcher. And then we need to set up Logic to send that MIDI to the right places. As a process, it's a little bit involved because of the way that Logic handles MIDI in general. But once you've done it once, if you save your file as a Logic template, you hopefully won't have to repeat the process again. There is a link in the notes to a ready-made template file if you just want to get started quickly but hopefully this video will give you some insight into what's happening in that template and why. So let's get started. First, open up a new blank Logic project and populate it with the software instrument channel strips you need. You can set up to 16 tracks, one for each MIDI channel, plus one extra to house the Watcher AU. Here I'll just use five tracks to keep it simple. So the first four tracks are for Logic Instruments. The fifth will house the watch AU, so let's sort that out first. In the bottom track, install the Watcher AU in the usual way. Once the display opens, click on the cog wheel to get to the plug-in settings and, if it's active, deselect the autoplay option. Now go to the MIDI and audio options and make sure that the virtual MIDI box is checked. You'll see that Logic notices that it's checked and has added a couple of new MIDI channels to the system. By default, Logic listens to MIDI coming in on all MIDI channels on your system. And for the more advanced uses, Watcher adds a lot of virtual MIDI channels. But we don't need all of those channels for this purpose. And leaving them all active will cause possible confusion down the line. So we need to turn off most of Logic's MIDI ports, so we're just left with the ones we need. To do that, we go into Logic's Global Preferences and select MIDI. From there, we go to the tab labelled Inputs. As you can see, I have a lot of inputs on this setup here, most of which I've already turned off. For Watcher, the only port we need is called Watcher Omni. I also like to keep a port open for my MIDI keyboard controller, but all other ports can safely be turned off. It's just a matter of unchecking the leftmost checkbox. You only need to do this once. It's a global preference, so it will persist across sessions. Once you've done all that, next go to the project settings under the file menu and select the recording settings. In the MIDI section, check the Demix by Channel Well Multitrack Recording option. This makes sure that Logic sends the MIDI to the right places. Now, Back in the Arrange view, you need to allocate each channel strip to its own MIDI channel. By default, they are all set to All, so you need to change each one in turn. Which is why it's a good idea to save this file as a template so you don't have to do this every time, because it's boring and I haven't found a quick way to do it yet. You don't need to change anything on the track holding the Watcher AU because it's not being controlled by MIDI. All the channels you want to use with Logic Instruments need to be armed for recording. You have to do this to force Logic to demix the MIDI. Once that's done, you can hit play and you should hear the audio output from the Watcher synth engine. Once you've got that working, we can now replace those sounds with Logic Soft Synths on their corresponding MIDI channels, like this. And finally, if you aren't going to use the audio coming from the Watcher Synth, you can simply mute that track and just listen to the others. Note that if you want Logic to record all this, as things are set up here, the only thing that will be recorded is the MIDI going into each track. And while you are recording it, it'll look a bit strange because it'll look as though it's all being recorded to just one track. 
but once you hit stop, it sorts itself out. If you do want to record the audio, you will need to add at least one additional audio track to do that. And a simpler option might be to record in two passes, so first record the MIDI, and then simply do a bounce in the usual way using the bounce button on the master output channel. And that's how you set up Watcher AU to work in Logic.